One of the things most non-dead malls have in common is the smell of fresh pretzels wafting throughout the mall. In my part of the country, that normally means there is a Wetzel's Pretzels or an Auntie Anne's Pretzels nearby. Now, I know there are other mall pretzel places, but those are just the two that I most commonly see. I recently noticed that Chandler Fashion Center actually has a Wetzel's Pretzels and an Auntie Anne's Pretzel place. And this gave me an idea. I thought it might be fun to go to both pretzel places and kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison and try and find out what is the ultimate mall pretzel. I thought the best way to do this was to film the entire thing in the mall. That way the pretzels were nice and hot and fresh when we were comparing them. First, we stopped by the Wetzel's Pretzels. Wetzel's Pretzels was founded in 1994, which means they're not nearly as old of a company as I thought they were. They also only have about 350 locations, making them smaller than I thought they were. Then we stopped at our second contender, Auntie Anne's, which was founded in 1988, and they have over 1,200 locations, which makes them the much bigger of the two companies. For the comparison, we got a large lemonade from each place, and then we also got a regular pretzel with cheese, and an order of their bits or bites, or whatever you want to call them. I also want to mention that both of these companies will eventually get their own episodes of Retail Archaeology. However, this video is just about comparing their pretzels and seeing who has the ultimate mall pretzel. Alright, so we've got our Auntie Anne's bread. <laughs> and Wetzel's, we'll just have to hold them up to the camera. Uh, what do you want to try first? The bites? You want to try the lemonade? Dude, you didn't get two straws. I don't want to... Oh, hold on. I, I, I didn't live like what? Uh, <laughs> might as well we just use the same straw at that point. <laughs> we need to work on our communication skills. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this one. I got two <laughs> straws. This would be four straws. Fight me. <laughs> <laughs> you got exactly what you wanted. Just suck, suck that one. <laughs> Okay, there's a big difference on that. Wetzel's taste watered down. This tastes like lemonade. Yeah. This tastes like watered yeah, down little. lemon Kool-Aid. To me, there's more like lemony, like there's a but more of a tartness, sweeter. but that's sweeter. I like this one better. I have a sweet I kind of like this one. I like that tart. Let's try the bites now. <laughs> the, the bites was an issue. We ended up with hot, we were trying to get hot dog bites at both of them. But then we get to the Auntie Anne's, they don't even have hot dog bites, all they have is pepperoni ones. So we're just going to compare these and see which is better. I'm going to try one of these first. I'll go for that. So that's the Wetzel's dog. They're supposed to have pepperoni. Nathan's hot dogs at Auntie Anne's, but I guess not. Now, I'm going to say right now, that looks kind of burnt. That is not. That looks well cooked. Tasty pepperoni pretzel bite. Okay, give me one of those. I think they're about the same tastiness. These actually aren't, it doesn't taste burnt, it looks burnt, but. For just what it is, I'm kind of going, I'm going You're pepperoni all over is. the. Um, I would have liked to have tried the Nathan hot dog bites. Probably why they're out of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. So for me so far, Auntie Anne's has the better lemonade, but as far as like bites go, can't even see that anymore. They're about equally tasty, oh. I think. Try one more. <laughs> I don't know, it's something about just the pepperoni, it's that little, but it's, it's not really like, good. it's almost apples to oranges, but these are really good. I like the pepperoni. These are greasy though. I mean, these that's are greasy probably too. why I like them. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to the pretzel. So this is like the heavy, heavyweight match right here. So we got the original. We just got regular, a regular salted pretzel from each place and then we got we wanted to try their cheese dipping sauces okay so let's open the cheeses all right so i got get wetzels first cheese. impressions and now oh 
I should probably do that. They look about the, well, this one's a little darker. That looks a little darker. To me, that looks smoother. This looks grainier to me. Yeah. I don't know how that's much coming out. So that's the Wetzel's. Where's the camera? That's the Wetzel's. And that's the anti inch. You'll notice neither of them are moving. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, I'm going to try the. Uh, uh, no, oh, we should hold it with the pretzel. Let's grab the pretzel out so we can do a size. Now, there's that a is difference. A, that is a difference here. Yeah, that is Wetzel's substantially is bigger. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I'm going to try a piece of this with the anti ants cheese. And I will go to Wetzel's first. Mm. I'm gonna kind of try just the pretzel. There's like a yeah. really nice crunch on this one. That I like. I mean, that's just a really good solid pretzel. Okay, I'm gonna try the wetzels. Oh, this does feel crispier. I'm gonna try this just the pretzel first. I'm a cheese man, so. Mm. At the end, chewier. Mm -hmm. The cheeses taste the same. They're probably, if we looked, manufactured for focus brands. So it's just a random. What is this? It doesn't say. It's probably from Cisco or something. I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel. Let me try the panty hands again. Because they are different. They're very different pretzels. Yeah. Anti Anne's is chewier. I don't know if I can show you that one. But it's like... It's not focusing, but it's like chewier. Not enough crispy, but still like crisp enough for a pretzel. I'm surprised I like... Because I'm, I'm all about this pretzel. The pretzel. Like, I like the bites. I wish we had the hot dog bites. Because I think... That would have just blown them out of the water. I think I do like the Wetzel's pretzel better. But it's massive and I just, it tastes great. A little bit of crunch. It's fluffy. Mm. That, that's, that's a good, look at the, look at that. Oh, that's a good pretzel. For me, I think I like the Auntie Anne's lemonade better than the Wetzel's. The bits or bites or whatever, I like them about both the same. They're, no. both, they're both good. But the but Wetzel's, I think, wins the pretzel competition. Because the cheese is the same. There's no difference between yeah. the cheeses. I mean, for, to me, it's for just the pretzel. So Wetzel's we'll, nailed it. Yeah. I mean, lemonade and is they important to me. They nailed the lemonade. The lemonade's not bad. They're just completely different types of They're lemonade. different types of, yeah. Th this is probably more If you like the sweet. Yeah, this is sweeter. If you want the tart, it's, it's the Wetzel's. So I don't know what, because it's kind of, I, I don't know, I'm willing to call the lemonades a tie, I guess, because it's not bad. I just prefer that one. The bits about the same, but I think Wetzel's has the best pretzel compared to your hands. For the, the original pretzel, it's, to me, it's hands down Wetzel's. Yeah, I think so. I wish Hot Sam was still around so we could try that. But uh, this is going to wrap up our Auntie Anne's Wetzel's pretzel. We should. Wait, the yeah, winner? You, yeah, no, you got to do the. You got to do. <laughs> but yeah, I think the winner is Wetzel's. I mean, look, we both have been ate, basically eating, eating the same, the same amount rate. Yeah, at the same good. rate, and there's like still this left. Damn. All right, guys. Well, uh, hopefully this actually makes it up on YouTube because I have no idea what the music <laughs> this is going to fly, but we'll see. Maybe we'll have to voice it over later on. I don't know. Awesome. But as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Hey, future Eric here in editing. We're not quite done yet because I forgot that I wanted to compare the receipts from the two places. Thankfully, I remembered right before we left, so here's that. So after we wrapped up filming, we thought, gee, we probably should have compared the receipts. And I noticed immediately that Wetzel's was $24.81 and Auntie Anne's was $14.90. Now, why would one be like $10 more than the other? So here's what we paid for everything at Auntie Anne's. And this is what we paid for everything at Wetzel's. And they charged us for an extra lemonade. 
that that's why. But also, here's just some other things to notice. For example, the pretzel at Auntie Anne's is 429 versus 459. So it's a little bit more at Wetzel's. Uh, dollar 59 for dip, 99 cents for dip, the cheese dip. Uh, the lemonade 4.99. The lemonade's 4.29. So Auntie Anne's, I think, the, the Wetzel dogs were 6.79. Well, not, Auntie Anne's gave a discount. For, and Auntie Anne's gave a discount too. So I don't know what to think. Wetzel's kind of had the better pretzel, my but shining personality. But price-wise, Wetzel's kind of sucks. On top of the fact that they overcharged you for an extra lemonade. So I don't know. I mean, the Auntie Anne's was good, so now I'm kind of giving it to Auntie Anne's because <laughs> they didn't screw you over. I don't know. I mean, screwed us over because I can't really compare these receipts. So <laughs> what? We got a, the side to side. What a mess this of video has been. Price that's true. For each item. But uh, yeah, that's just to give you guys an idea of the of the price, anyways. And uh, yeah, Wetzel's needs to work on their billing, I guess, or whatever you want to call that. But uh, yeah, guys, as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retail archaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this Ultimate Mall Pretzel Showdown. This really was a lot harder to film and kind of a mess, but we still had a lot of fun making it, so hopefully you all had a lot of fun watching it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed.